How long does it really take to go from a simple concept to a final 3D printed part? In this video, we're going to find out, so stick around. All right, we have this steel post to install for a chain link fence, and normally these receive caps in the top, but a typical cap will not work here. It's going to look unfinished and does not provide a good location for the top rail. So let's design and print something that works properly to keep the water out, lasts outdoors, and also aligns well with that top rail. So I'm using Fusion 360, but Tinkercad or the free version of Onshape will also work here. Let's start the timer on the design. I'm starting with the post and the top rail and I consider this basically the foundation of the design. So I've used calipers to measure them precisely. The posts are two and three eighths inch diameter and the top rail is slightly larger than one and five eighths. And that's gonna work really well to allow the two parts to come together and finish off nicely at the top. I'll just finish the extrusion and then waste a bunch of time looking at the model. I'm going to set the distance apart to 40 millimeters, just slightly more than an inch and a half as a starting point. I'll be creating the outline for half and revolving it around the center line. And I'd like a slight curvature at the top and I think that's going to keep the top from becoming too weak. And it's also going to look good. I've been caught far too many times with parts that fit together too snugly. So we need to add some clearance here. And even better than that is to add a very slight taper. It's gonna make it even easier to guide into the top of the post. And I like to avoid printing with overhangs to avoid supports. They waste material time and they add cleanup time. But unfortunately here, I need to add some to finish off the top. And I need that nice lip around the top that conceals the edge of the post. So I will need supports, but at least they'll be minimal. I'm trying out a few ideas for the overhang. It would be best to completely wrap around the top, but instead I've decided on the simple shape. It's gonna be stronger and it's also gonna be easier to remove the supports later on. It's time to revolve the shape. And then I'm also going to extrude an extra sacrificial cylinder to use as a tool for subtracting. I'll add a small fillet at the very top edge and I'll also chamfer the bottom to make it even easier to insert into the post. And we're gonna export the file and import it into Bamboo Studio. Now I need this to last outdoors as well in the harsh Canadian climate. So I'm gonna print this using ASA. It is far more weather resistant than ABS thanks to the addition of the acrylic. Styrene acrylate filament. It is a thermoplastic material used in 3D printing and is known for its ruggedness and resilience, making it ideal for outdoor weather resistant projects. Now this printer was sent to me by Bamboo Labs and I've been testing it and enjoying the speed and the capabilities of this printer. So I've already loaded in some ASA. I have the 0.8 millimeter nozzle loaded into the printer and that's going to be perfect for this print. I want something really strong. I'm gonna add lots of walls, six walls in this case, and a 30% cubic infill. I'm gonna have lots of bottoms and lots of tops as well. And the 0.8 millimeter nozzle lets me print this heavy duty part quickly so I can get the job done. So all I need to do now is send it to the printer. Now I've only printed with ASA a few times and I am a fan. It does not warp as much as ABS. And of course it's less of a problem because I have the Bamboo Labs printer with the enclosure. And here's the final print and it looks really good. Time to get it installed. Now since I want it to stay in place, I'm gonna use the PL Premium here. It likes to expand as it cures, which is just gonna be perfect in this case. Now all I need to do is dig a hole and install the post and see how everything fits. Now this could do to get a coat of paint, but I'm curious to see how it weathers, so I'm just gonna leave it. All right, so how much time did this really take? So the total lost time out of my day was 30 minutes. The total wait time was nearly two hours to print. 
and of course quite a bit of time to wait for the glue to set. I have yet to dial in the printer exactly for the 0.8 millimeter nozzle. I'm still confident that I can reduce the print time quite a bit more with some adjustments. I think that everybody should have a 3D printer and be able to design anything they need themselves. It's a great way to save some money and solve problems. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Take care and we'll see you on the next one.